Hey there, Wildcats, and welcome back to another edition of Your Daily Dose. I'm Katie Meredith. And I'm Samantha Schaefer. Today is Monday, November 15th, and Your Daily Dose starts now. This weekend's disappointing news was not only limited to our football team. Yesterday, a small two-seater plane crashed, killing the pilot of an aircraft at Tucson's Ryan Airfield. The National Transportation Safety Board and the Federal Aviation Administration are investigating the tragic incident. The pilot was the only one aboard his Cessna 150. The pilot had, become doing some, had been doing some practice touch and goes, which a plane touches down on the runway for a short time before taking off again. When the pilot was coming in for a landing, he crossed just before the runway and the plane flipped. The pilot was dead when emergency crews arrived. His name will not be released until notifications of his family members are notified. That's heartbreaking to hear. I know. At least he was the only one in the accident. Nobody else was hurt, though. That's true. That'd be unfortunate. Wow, watch out for Tucson scammers targeting job seekers. Three Tucson based companies are offering consumers work from home deals at the Better Bureau. Better Business Bureau says are too good to be true. A woman says she sent Sweet Success Publications $30 for a list of houses she would mail letters to, but never received the letter. Two other companies are taking advantage of the sluggish job market. One claims you can earn $500 per week by painting toys from home. Better Business Bureau president said a lot of people are desperate for work and this creates a great opportunity for scammers. If you think you've been a victim of a scam, report it at BBB.org. Well, I think it's about that time for us to stop in with Tyler Barone for a look at this week in sports. One week after getting demolished by the Stanford Cardinals, the Arizona football team headed into this week's game against USC with something to prove. Instead of winning, the Cats took a step back on what looked like a promising season. On Saturday night, the Arizona Wildcats fell to the University of Southern California 24-21. Currently, the Wildcats sit at 7-3 overall and 4-3 in the Pac-10 with this loss. USC improves to 7-3 overall and 4-3 in the Pac-10 with the win. Mark Tyler led the Trojans with a workhouse performance. He rushed for 160 yards on 31 carries. The Trojans then climbed into a tie with Arizona for third place with this win. Quarterback Mark Barkley had a solid game passing for a touchdown and sneaking one up the middle for a one-yard keeper. For the UA, quarterback Nick Foles threw for 350 yards and three touchdowns. The last of his touchdown passes came on an 11-yarder to David Douglas with 101 to play. For USC, this was their sixth straight win in the Old Pueblo. Up next for the Cats, a tough one against the number one team in the nation, Oregon. The Wildcats will hit the road this weekend and head up to Eugene. Game time for this one is set for 4 p.m. and will be broadcasted on ESPN. Final score here, Arizona 21, Oregon 52. On Saturday night, the 10th ranked UCLA Bruins knocked off the number 20 Arizona Wildcat volleyball team in four sets, taking place at Collins Court in the Wooden Center. The Bruins proved to be too much for the Cats to handle. Set scores for the match were 25-19, 21-25, 25-17, and 25-14. With this win, UCLA improved to 19-7 overall and 9-6 in the Pac-10. For the Cats, this loss dropped them to 18-9 on the season and 7-7 in action. Tiffany Owens and Courtney Cars continue their leadership and dominance for this Wildcat volleyball team, combining for 31 digs and uh, kills and 25 digs. Paige Weber, the setter, chipped in with 37 assists, 8 digs, and 4 kills in the defeat. Next week, UA returns home for its final homestand of the season. The Wildcats will take on Washington State Friday night and Washington on senior night on Saturday. Yesterday afternoon, the UA men's basketball team took on Idaho State University in McHale Center with an opening 90-42 victory. Coming up next for the Wildcats, New Mexico State on Thursday, November 18th. Tip-off is set for 6.30 p.m. at McHale Center and will be televised on Fox Sports Arizona. Well, Wildcats, that's your sporting news for today. I'm Tyler Barron, and see you next time. The left I lead is an alphabet dog. I may have fleas, but I run out yard. I see those clones looking down on me, but unlike those clones. Well, a former military veteran, NBA player, and a U of A basketball alumni has been a homeless until a recent turn of events. Colonial Norman was homeless until he moved to Depicat Square, a new 23 million 150 unit apartment project in Detroit built to house and care for homeless veterans. 
Oh, <laughs> sorry. Here we go again. Okay. Norman was a star on the University of Arizona basketball team in 1972 and was later drafted in the second round by the Philadelphia 76ers while he played for two seasons before heading to the Continental Basketball Association and then the San Diego Clippers. After being released by the Clippers in 1979, he enlisted in the military. Piquette Square gives veterans a place to work and live in a unique community setting. Norman went through that 12-week program and was able to get a job after that doing landscaping. He's well on his way to building his life. Now let's stop in with UATV's own Chelsea Rarick for a look at This Week in Entertainment. Hey there Wildcats, I'm Chelsea Rarick with all your entertainment news. This Saturday, the Hope Volunteer staff will be on hand to answer questions to anyone who might have questions about adopting animals, volunteering, or even donations. If you're interested in any of those, be sure to stop by their, their animal shelter from noon until 5 p.m. this weekend for those adopting an animal. The cost is $90 and that covers all vaccinations, a microchip for the pet, and spay and neutering costs. Because the shelter truly wants to make sure that anyone interested is taking home a pet does so responsibly. Thanksgiving is right around the corner and what better way than to start early at the Community Food Bank's Turkey Drive. For everyone that brings in a frozen turkey, they will receive a free pizza. That takes place tomorrow from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m., so you have all day to bring in your turkeys. The Good Rockin' Live concert, which is a salute to Sun Records, is happening tomorrow at 7 p.m. The cost is $22 to attend, and the music consists of all the early days of rock songs. That's all the entertainment news I have for you tonight. I'm Chelsea Rarick, and have a great evening. Hey, we're Metalhead, and you're watching UATV! Hey there Wildcats, today is November 15th and I'm Lisa McLean with your weather forecast. Today we reached a sunny high of 70 degrees, tonight you can expect a low of 43 degrees. After a cooler weekend you can expect the temps to start warming back up throughout the week. Tomorrow we have a high of 73 degrees with clear skies and a low of 44 degrees. On Wednesday we will have a high of 76 in clear skies and the low will get down to 48 degrees. Expect a high of 79 on Wednesday. 79 degrees on Thursday with sunny skies and a low of 49 degrees. We'll start off your weekend with nice weather, a high of 78 degrees on Friday and a low of 52 degrees. It's really hard to tell that we are halfway through November with all these warm temperatures. Well, there's your five-day forecast, so stay cool, Wildcats. Hi, it's David Hassel off the Hoff. Get Hoff with UATV. Stay tuned. Don't change the dial. There's going to be an investigation of the black hole on Interstate 10. East of Tucson, there is a two-mile section of the I-10 that's called the black hole because of the number of crashes. A local attorney counts nearly 60 accidents between 2005 and 2008. A lawsuit has been filed in the Pima County Superior Court against the Arizona Department of Transportation. Most crashes happen when the road is wet. The cross slope is not sufficiently deep to allow the heavy rain to drain off the highway. John Gabreau, the lawyer in the case, wants to see the road repaired so it drains properly and signs to warn drivers of this dangerous section. That's scary. I drive to and from Phoenix like all the time so often God, nothing's happened. keep an eye out for that black hole. I know yeah. I'm, just, I'm a good driver, you know, so That's good. good defensive driver, <laughs> you know. That's always I'm good. Just very lucky. <laughs> Well, that just about wraps up another fun-filled edition of Your Daily Dose. I'm Katie Meredith. And I'm Samantha Schaefer. From all of us here at the UATV studios, have a great evening, Wildcats. <laughs>